when I heard the first gun shot, I go like this, and that's when I get hit in the back. And Seems like you're, you're well, this is certainly a danger on the job. A tow truck driver says he was shot in the back for just doing what he was hired to do. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Dorchester tonight with more. Christina? Well, David, Lincoln Street here, it's a very narrow street. It's one way, and you can see it curves. When there is traffic moving through, there is not a lot of room for, say, a tow truck trying to load a vehicle. You're, you're lucky that it was just a graze like that. Maybe it was. The, I was lucky when I do this, and that's when he gave my back. No one expects gunshot wounds from an honest day's work. Ray Melendez was trying to load this gold van onto his flatbed here on Lincoln Street when another driver asked him to pull over so he could get by. He refused. He don't care that I work. He just wanted me to move. And you were just trying to do your job? Trying to do my job. I said, let me move to a site that you can go through. And I said, I don't have time for you. You're a little kid. He then turned just as the impatient driver suddenly opened fire. When I heard the first gun shot, I go like this. And that's when I get hit in the back. It just shows you how difficult it is to do our job. Boston Police Commissioner William Evans says police have been searching for the road rage gunman. They started yelling and screaming at each other. Um, you know, the, the, the driver wanted to get by, and um, he took two shots. Two bullets whizzed right against yeah. Melendez, leaving him with scrapes after a visit to the hospital. I believe I have an angel. With no one else to thank, Melendez chalks it up to an angel. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. A but force that this. made him turn That's just in the back. nick of time. And I only have one king. I want over there. See, I don't scare nobody. So police are now still looking for the gunman, and they are concerned about this incident because as the weather heats up, you know, tempers tend to heat up as well, and they're hoping this kind of violence does not become the norm. In Dorchester, Christina Hager, WBC News.